On this episode of RC Kicks, we're messing around with one of these, and since I have no experience whatsoever, I'm sure this is going to end really well. So this turned up yesterday and I've been itching to get into it, but I've been waiting so I could record it as I have no experience whatsoever and I've never even looked inside a plane box. So I have no idea what it's like inside. Now I know it's got everything you need to fly, obviously apart from a few batteries, but it should just be a case of connecting a few bits and pieces together. So let's crack it open and take a look and see. Uh, this end, yeah, there we go. So I know before any of you start commenting crazy things about, oh, you need to be in this and you need to do this and you need to associate with this group and you need to fly, blah, blah, blah. I did check before and this is a very light plane. It's nowhere near the 250 grams. So what that basically means in the UK is you can fly it um, without having all your certifications and all that kind of stuff. Now, if it's something that you people want to see and you want to watch me crash more and more expensive, bigger planes, then obviously I'll have to get all my paperwork in order first. I cannot monitor what you do, so make sure you check all your rules and regulations before you fly anything. It's not my responsibility to monitor your own stupid behavior. <laughs> so this is what it looks like inside the box. It basically looks like it's made out of the box. <laughs> is this like how you make spare parts, is it? Right, where's my, uh, what did I do with my knife? There we go, right, let's have a look. Okay, let's try not to cut anything of any importance. Because basically this is the box and this is not the box. <laughs> so that's the wingspan. My God, it's just polystyrene with a couple of little stickers on it. Wow, is that the actual whoa that is super fragile <laughs> that's the flaps okay right and then what else have we got so this end is the controller whoa that's cheesy but uh for the price point i mean getting everything obviously this is just a starter kit which is perfect for me because there's no point in me spending an absolute fortune picking up something that i'm probably going to smash into the ground at some point now i have been i have downloaded a few apps and i have been practicing on my phone and if that's anything to go by i'm going to be buying a new plane pretty soon some little bits and pieces not quite sure what they are propeller little tiny lipo battery Another one of those, which I'm guessing is to do with holding the... <laughs> the wheel. So it's pretty light, so I, I don't think it should smash too much when it crashes. I don't know. Comment below, am I going to smash it up? And a little tiny charger. Um, it's actually the same, what looks like the same sort of LiPo battery that I actually have in some of my little crawlers. So I wonder if I can upgrade that. Obviously you've got a center of gravity and all that kind of stuff and you've got to balance it, blah, blah, blah. And that is pretty much it. Yeah, that is it. Then we have the instructions. So I'll have a quick read. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'll cut away, I'll connect it all up. It doesn't look like it's gonna take very long, charge the battery up and then I'll come back when it's all in one piece and then maybe we can fire it up and see how it controls before we take it out and break it. Right, I'll be right back. After five minutes, we're done. There's no screwdrivers really needed at all for the plane. It's all just clipped together. The only screwdriver you need is putting the batteries in the back of the transmitter. One thing that's kind of strange, and it's also the same in the manual, that when you take the battery cover off, you're supposed to put all the batteries in one direction, like plus across the top, minus across the bottom. And it actually shows you that inside the transmitter. But actually, that's not what you do. You put these as you normally do it, plus at one, minus at the other, and then the next battery along is inverted, and that's where the springs are. And in the manual, it shows you the same thing, so I'm guessing it got changed at some point, but hey, it's two seconds to figure out what's going on. Then you've got to trim up the plane, no different to where you would trim up steering, I guess. you just got to make sure everything's nice and true, and you've got everything lined up as it should. I messed around with the gyro a little bit, and it seems to be working as it's supposed to. So that's enough waffling. I guess we better uh, bite the bullet, take it out, and see how long it takes me to smash it up. <laughs> right here we are for the maiden flight look at it now while it's still in one piece but let's give it a go and see how i get on <laughs> it's gonna be fun regardless
it struggles into the wind. <laughs> Oh, it's well twitchy. This wind level. Oh. And then we'll bring it in. Whoa, it's so windy. <laughs> that was cool <laughs> well it didn't crash but it's too windy <laughs> basically it's driving forward speed is pretty much what the wind is it is very consistent mind and uh, it made it so there you go it made it it survived uh, need to wait for the wind to die down to have a proper go so really I'm just turning into the wind and then after turning into the wind, it's just basically sitting there. But that was great fun, back to the studio. So there you go, that was great fun. My first ever flight, that was it. I've never flown a plane before. And really the plane did a lot of the work for me with its inbuilt gyros and everything. And this is perfect for the level I'm at. So if you've never flown a plane ever, I can highly recommend it. It's super light, it's easy to put together. If you crash it, you're not really going to break it. It's so light. Even if you nosedive it into the ground, I don't think you're going to do much more. The propeller pops off. It's actually a clip on, which I really like. So I get the feeling they really thought about this and who this is for. And that is me with the gyro. It helps now flying it in this kind of weather that you just saw. Yeah, that was right at the limit of it. Um, when I was turning into the wind, the plane was basically hovering. And as you saw, when I came into land, I cut the throttle, I turned into the wind and then it started to just come down straight. And then I throttled up again just to get it to kind of come in a little bit instead of just sort of drifting backwards. But even so, with that kind of weather, this tiny little plane was actually flyable just. Even with my skill level of never flying before, I've messed around on a few apps, but that was it. So super chuffed. And as soon as the wind dies down, I'll be back out again. And more RC plane content will be coming. But I can highly recommend this. I really can, honestly, for myself. It's perfect for someone who has never flown before. Um, it's super easy. Anyway, there you go. Thanks very much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.